All right, so who is Jeff Dennis anyway? I want to take just a few minutes to explain a little bit about me and why I made the course. Now, I've been aware of Craigslist for many years, but I really didn't start using it until a few years ago. I was actually in the process of trying to clean out my basement to make a workshop. See, the only problem was it was so cluttered with years of accumulated stuff. There was no room to move. It was overwhelming, and something really had to be done. Now, I could have just thrown everything away, but I didn't really feel right, as most of the stuff I had still had some value to it. It just wasn't being used anymore. And that's when I decided to give Craigslist a shot. So I started researching the things I had. I took photos, and I wrote descriptions, and before you know it, I was making sales. And best of all, the basement was getting cleaned out to make room for the workshop. And you know what was even better? I could now fund the tools with some of the profits from my sales. Now, I've always been a bit frugal, and I have to thank my wife for that. So, you may think this is a tad extreme. Now, on many trips to the dump, I'd actually look for things there to bring home and sell. See, we have a swap shop at our local dump where yard sale items and other things of value get dropped off and separated. Now, with a background in electrical engineering, I would often look for broken electronics that I could fix up and sell. And believe it or not, I'd often return home from the dump with more stuff than I dropped off. I still remember the strange looks my wife would give me. So I began to realize, hey, maybe there is something to this Craigslist after all. It then turned into a game. I mean, an addiction. All right, I'll admit it. It's an obsession. See, I started looking for opportunities everywhere, often stopping at random curbside locations on trash day, on my way to work, picking up bicycles and other valuable items left for the garbage man. See, most of what I gathered worked just fine. It just really needed a good cleaning. I would often challenge myself to generate a specific amount of income each month, and this helped motivate me to look for new items and resources to acquire stuff to sell. What's really interesting is that once I altered my mindset and removed my preconceived ideas, and then I became open-minded to the possibilities, see, all kinds of opportunities began to unfold. This was the case at my workplace, for example. Getting to know the facilities manager would often lead to acquiring some great items like office furniture and equipment the company was throwing out. Now, of course, it helps having a truck to cut all these heavy things around, but just getting to know a few people really paid off, and it continues to do so, as my company has gone through many purging cycles. So as the income from sales started to grow, I soon realized it could help fund other hobbies and interests of mine, like photography and videography or any other passion or goal I had. See, one of the beauties of selling on Craigslist is that it could be done as a side hobby at first. You don't have to quit your day job to have a nice supplemental income. Of course, you always have the option of turning it into a full-time business if things really get rolling. In a later section on where to find things to sell, I'll share with you my product reference guide. See, it contains a list of all the things I've sold so far. Now, with this expertise and success using Craigslist, I've developed techniques and strategies and a system that works well for me, and I'd like to share that knowledge to provide you with the same potential, the same opportunity and benefits. Now, I hope to turn you into a Craigslist enthusiast and wish you much success and good fortune. Now, let's dig in.